guys okay so a long time no see I should have been back like last month to do a video but life yeah <laughs> so um, okay pregnancy vlog number two basically taking you from okay ninjas attacking the door basically taking you from 20 to 28 weeks so it's been about two months since I actually did a pregnancy vlog well um, hang on Come on. Come on, Ninja. Okay, so let me look at my notes for this. Okay, first those first. Y'all see my hair? <laughs> Do y'all see my hair? Mm -hmm. Okay, this hair is from fingercomber.com. Um, I don't know where I heard of them. I don't know where I found them. Um, but yeah, figurecomer.com. I use the wefted hair, the hair on wefts, like you know, sew in here, and I made a U part wig. Okay, the U part is actually on the side here, so this is where my hair is out right there. Okay, and then the front of my hair is out also, and I'm like so shiny and so sweaty and just hot. Like, Lord Jesus, I'm happy I don't have to go through the end of this pregnancy in the middle of the summer. Okay. So, yeah, so wefted hair, figurecombers.com, made a U-part wig using a regular cap. I will be doing a tutorial because um, I'm going to make a full cap wig using this hair um, just so I can actually have my whole hair braided underneath. Um, this U-part wig would work awesome. I mean, it works awesome now, but I think it would work even more awesomely, if that's a word. Um, whenever my hair gets longer so first off this hair is so soft so soft I ended up co-washing it um, with some Garnier pure and clean and then I set it in twist if y'all follow me on Facebook or Instagram y'all know I set it in twist um, using Talia Wajid's protective mist modifier as a twist leave-in agent thing and the hair is so soft it's fluffy and moves it puts me in the mind of your Shari J's and your, um, what's the girl with the largest afro? Um, Avon, I think, Avon Douglas, I think her name is. So, I love this hair. If my hair could, Lord, hear my prayer. If my hair could get to this length and this thickness, that would be awesome, okay? But length, okay, yeah, I could. Think thickness, probably not, um... Okay, so that's what's on my head. Hair update, pregnancy hair. My hair has lost its freaking mind. My hair, the texture has changed. The thickness of the strand has changed. Um, the curl has changed. My hair has gone through a transformation, okay? Um, when I tell y'all, like the hair, the hair that I have, somebody's home. The hair that I have on my head now is not the hair that I had on my head before I got pregnant, when I chopped last time, anything. Like, as it's growing out, I'm like, oh my Jesus, why? Okay, so yeah, that's the hair update. I don't really have anything to say. I'm not wearing my hair out. As you can see, I haven't been wearing my hair out for the last probably two months, month and a half. As soon as I could corner it, I put some crochet braids in. So, yeah. All right, so, okay. Pregnancy. Um, allergies. So, I believe I told y'all that I had a fish allergy last, last um, video. My allergy has now spread to all nuts. I used to have a mild cashew nut allergy. My allergy has spread to all nuts um, and nut products. I can't eat peanut butter, I can't drink almond milk, that type of stuff. Um, I can't have soy for some reason. Soy milk, um, yeah, I can't have it. So that's that. I'm kind of upset. I'm really most, most upset about the fist allergy, but that's been since I got pregnant. So, you know, no, no issues there. Um, let me see, movement. I feel the baby all the time. I felt the baby probably since we went on the cruise, maybe the week after the cruise. So what was that, 22 weeks? 
21 weeks, something like that, 21, 22 weeks. Um, and what I mean when I say feel the baby like actual kicks and that kind of stuff. And she's to the point now where she is, like I'll have my hand and she'll kick my hand and I'll move, like noticeably move. So that's weird and cool. I'm getting kicks in my ribs now when I'm sitting up um, that hurt, that are uncomfortable. Not hurt, but they're uncomfortable. Um, and just a lot of movement. She likes to move early in the morning, like four o'clock in the morning when I'm still trying to get some sleep. There'll be like a whole like earthquake in my body and in my stomach and not cool, but alas, what can I do? I can't really say, hey kid, stop. Because she doesn't really speak English right now. I mean, she will speak English, but y'all get what I'm saying. She don't really listen to me, so yeah. So, movement. Um, I don't know how much weight I've gained. Um, in my last appointment, which was at 24 weeks, I was up 13 pounds. I'm aiming for 20 pounds this pregnancy. Um, so, I was up 13 pounds. I eat extremely well. Um, I'm still juicing. I've started to incorporate more smoothies into my, um, into my diet. Um, I eat fairly well. In fact, like I tried to eat some fast food what, last week or something. I tried to eat a burger and it gave me the runs, which sucked. So I'm not going to do that again. So, and I've started walking, um, so I can get my body ready for the birth and get the endurance and all that stuff going. So, yeah, so weight and everything. I don't know. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so... I should have probably filmed it after because I have my glucose and all that stuff. Glucose test tomorrow and stuff, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> let's see. My skin. Okay, so probably around week 23, 24, um, for some reason I was breaking out like really small, small pimples across my forehead. And y'all already know, if y'all have been with me for a while, y'all know I struggled. Struggled with my skin. Struggled. Um, but I got it under control and being that what I did with my skin, I took vitamin A. I can't take vitamin A like I did, you know, as a capsule because, you know, it's kind of toxic for the baby. So um, since um, I incorporated more spinach and that kind of stuff into my diet or whatever and it's helped carrots, it's helped um, carrot juice and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's it's been working. Um, I'm not breaking out as much. I'm going to get a few pimples here and there, but that's to be expected with the hormones and things like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm happy with it. My skin is extremely dry, though. My feet, oh, my God, my feet are so dry. I want to get a pedicure. <laughs> I went to get a pedicure this past weekend. And like the poor little Asian man had to go to work on my feet, like with the, the sander, the grater thing. I mean, and he was scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. And I was like, oh my Jesus, chunks are flying. And I was, I was embarrassed. I was looking at my mom and I was like, oh my Jesus, mom, this is, I was like, I'm sorry, sir. This is not, my, this is not how it usually is. I, it's the baby's fault. So yeah, I'm like, not, that's not, not cool at all. Um, let me see. Stretch marks. My stretch marks are growing. Um, they're, they haven't multiplied. They're just growing up. So I started with stretch marks on either side of my belly, about three of them, three to four of them, either side of my belly button. Um, only the ones on this side, which is the right side, have gone up. They're about um, right above my belly button now. Um, so yeah, I've been using Basque is Basque Truffle Balm. That's what it's called. Hang on. Basque Truffle Balm. I, that's what I wrote in my notes. Um, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, y'all know I love Basque. It's one of their body products. It's like a solid oil that I, I use and it's worked awesome and it smells like chocolate. And yeah, so it's great. Um, let me see. <sighs> Tiredness. Um, I just had you on, right? <sighs> oh, okay. Um, tiredness. I've been, I haven't been as tired lately. 
Um, probably I'm 28, so two weeks ago, 26, 25, 26, 23, 24, 25, 26. Probably that whole four week period, I was just pooped, like tired, like had to take naps every single day. I felt like I was in my first trimester because I was extremely tired my first trimester. Um, so, um, what'd you call it? Ninja, I'm gonna need you to stop. Um, so, I don't know, he likes to be in here when I do videos, but then he wants to go outside and play with the other dogs, like, mm. So yeah, tired, just tired. Um, I'm better now, I've upped my iron intake, so I think that's helped. I don't think I was anemic, but you know, the kid takes everything from me. It's like, she's gonna make sure that she has what she needs, and then, you know, whatever. If mama, if mama's skin looks like crap, if mama teeth fall out, if she's tired as hell, she don't really care, so anyways. So I have alleviated that. Um, emotionally, um, y'all know hormones and all that stuff can be a killer, even if you're in the best of situations when it comes to um, that or whatever. And I'm not in the best situation right now. So um, I have been um, getting that under control. So, that, so whereas when I do when I do have the baby, I'm not quote unquote overwhelmed. I'm not um, not overwhelmed. I don't know. I don't. Know. I have my mechanisms in place to cope um, because I know a lot of issues are going to come once that is once she gets here or whatever. Um, especially because of my situation. <laughs> So I'm, you know, I'm talking to a professional and all that kind of stuff and making sure I'm talking through things and making sure that in my head and, you know, I'm good. Because I feel like if I'm not good, then the situation that I'm bringing her into is even worse than it already <laughs> is or whatever. So, yeah, keeping myself on the up and up. And no, like, seriously, I really am in such, such a better place than where I was when I made the um, the 20 week video. So I really, <laughs> I really am. So yeah, that's that. And I know it seems like I'm just running through stuff, but I got a list y'all. Okay, so baby shower. Mm, okay, so I am, I'm having my baby shower November 11th. Um, and um, it's out of here. And I am basically, it's me, um, my mom, and then my two best friends that are planning it. Um, <laughs> and it's basically <laughs> getting planned. Um, I know like a lot of people are like, oh, you're not supposed to plan your baby shower, bloop, bloop, bloop. And I'm like, this is my first baby. Um, I do plan on having another one whenever I find the right person to have the next one with. Um, but being that this is my first baby, I want my baby shower to go the way that I want it to go. Okay, so therefore I will be involved in the planning. My color scheme is just like the baby's nursery. If y'all saw that, if y'all are on Instagram or on. Facebook with me, y'all saw the baby's nursery bedding, black, white, and hot pink, um, and silver mixed in there. And um, so that's my color scheme for the baby shower. I absolutely hate, hate baby pink. I hate it with a passion. So um, yeah, so I'm getting that together. I am registered at Baby's R Us. I know I got a couple questions about that. Um, I'll put all the information in the bottom bar. I'm registered at Babies R Us and I'm registered at Nurtured Family um, out here in Houston. I plan on cloth diapering, so my Nurtured Family um, registry is where my, all my cloth diapers are at. And I'll do a separate video on cloth diapering and that kind of stuff because y'all, that shit is serious. So um, yeah, so I'm getting together um, food, cake, all that kind of stuff. Just getting it together, and yeah, I'll try to do some video. I'll get my mom to do some video at the baby shower, and I'll probably put up like a couple snippets of it or whatever. Um, nursery, getting the nursery and everything together. 
Um, Y'all know I had to do so. I we have to do some remodeling. Um, I I <laughs> living situations have changed, and so um, yeah, still remodeling. So once the nursery is done and everything, I will show you all that. Um, hypno babies. I decided to take hypno babies and not hypno birthing. I felt like it was a more comprehensive class. Um, and I did that. I'm done with it. I went for six weeks and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, <clears throat> I feel that it will help me um, in birthing. So I will keep practicing it and let y'all know how that goes. I guess once I get ready to pop the kid out. <laughs> because, you know, you won't know until you actually do it. Um, and then Ninja. Okay, come Ninja. Come here. Anyway, so Ninja, black and white dog, that's always in my videos. He's not, he don't want to come. He has been extremely aggressive towards males. Um, extremely aggressive towards my brother and my father. Um, like to the point where he's trying to bite them. So, this is Ninja. I mean, he's not much to try to attack somebody or whatever, but still, he, he tries his best. And as soon as my brother comes along or my dad comes along, it's and all kind of stuff. Very vicious. And he is the sweetest little doggy. He is the sweetest little doggy. Right, you the sweetest little doggy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I don't know. I'm a little worried about it, but hey, what can you do? Hey guys, so belly shot, alright? Here's the belly. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I'm seven months and everybody says I'm look I look like I'm carrying a girl, so good, because I am carrying a girl. Um my belly button has not popped yet. The top of it is kind of out, but the whole inside hasn't. My top is bigger than the bottom. Um so yeah, so that's what it looks like from the front. Okay, so Alright guys, I'm not going to get back in frame, but yeah, so thank you for watching, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.